Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they want to help us understand the concept of momentum by comparing the momentum of two objects. First off, let's go through and write down a list of the variables that we have. So we have a bike with a rider, and then we also have the momentum of a car. So if we go through for the bike, they have a combined mass we'll say m sub b of 100 kilograms. And then um, the velocity for the bike, v sub b, we don't know that, and that's actually what we're trying to look for. So for the car, they tell us the mass of the car is equal to 1,500 kilograms. And then the velocity of the car is only one meters per second. So everything, if we look at it, is already in SI units. So now let's just write down the formula for momentum. So we know that momentum is equal to mass times velocity. So they say in the question, what speed does the bike have to go to so that the momentum for the car and the bike is the exact same. So what we want is the moment, momentum of the car to be equal to the momentum of the bike and the rider. So if we expand that out using the formula for momentum, then we know that the mass of the car times the velocity of the car has to equal the mass of the bike and the rider times the velocity of the bike and the rider. So if you look at this, the mass is obviously different. We already know that from our list. So the velocities also have to be really different as well in order for them to be equal. So if we look at our list, we know that we want to solve for this guy right here, the velocity of the bike. So let's go ahead and solve for that. So the velocity of the bike is going to be equal if we divide that by both sides of the equation. The velocity of the bike and the rider is going to be equal to the mass of the car divided by the mass of the bike and the rider times the velocity of the car. So now all we have to do is plug in our list of variables into the equation. So let's bring it down here. So the velocity of the bike and the rider is going to be equal to 1500 kilograms for the mass of the car divided by 100 kilograms for the mass of the bike and the rider times the velocity of one meters per second. So if you look at this, the kilograms are going to cancel out, leaving us with meters per second. So we know that we're in the correct units because we're looking for a velocity. So we can be confident that we've done the math correctly. So now if we pull up our calculator and plug this in, we have 1500 divided by 100 is going to be 15. Obviously, if we Obviously, if we multiply that by one meter per second, it's going to keep with 15. So we're going to end up with 15 meters per second, which is the answer.